Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome to a game called Alice Mayor. I wanted to play a kind of spooky game, um, and I figured RPG Maker would do it. Now, just so you guys know, I have previously played this game um, for YouTube, but my files didn't come out correctly. I didn't play the whole thing. I only played a little bit of it, but if it seems like I already know what's going on, that's because I do. Um, but I have not played very far in this game, just so you're aware. Um, I, I've only played a little bit of it, but yeah, so let's, I'm going to move this off to the side and let's get going. Do game. The ant told me the frog, that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me, no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I, so you. So that's roughly how life will be for you here. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all again. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep to, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. Received a notebook. Your own personal notebook. I some of my glasses. Use it however you like for sad or happy times. Just write down any feeling you have and give it to me, will it, would you? <laughs> but one of the children just likes to draw on it. That's fine by me, too. But there's still time before dinner. You should greet the other children. Leave and go straight left, you'll find your rooms. They're all good children. It may not be immediate, per se, but you'll get along, I'm sure. Ah, myself? Just call me teacher. I look forward to having you here, Alan. Alright, let's go look at this. Basic controls. Movement, choice, selection. Arrow keys, dumb pad, uh, 2468, which is what I'm using. My arrow keys are a bit wonk, which they seem to be fine now. Confirm, talk, check. Z, space, enter. Cancel menu, X, escape, backspace, reset, return to title, F6. Be careful, there's no confirmation for resetting. Alright. So, uh, let's go. Do, 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 do. There's a phone here. <coughs> do, 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 do. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's odd. You can speak. Probably because you don't really feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. Okay. Go talk. Play the piano. <clears throat> Do's and don'ts. Avoid leaving your rooms as much as possible, except during free time. Potty breaks okay. Don't take things from other rooms. Don't break anything. If you do, tell teacher. Don't force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. Tell teacher about anything that troubles you, or that you want. At the very bottom, there's a drawing of some kind of zebra. Uh, one thing I noticed is that all of the characters have their own animal. Let's see, this is Stella's room, this is Joshua's room. And I think they're important later, but I don't know why. Sup? My name's Brown. Or wait, was it Marcus? Might have been Nicole. Alan, huh? Or maybe it was Helen? Oh well, nice to meet you. Do's and notes. Yep. And at the bottom is a drawing of some kind of lion. So Stella's a zebra. Joshua is a lion. Who's this? Chelsea. It's a lot of fucking teddy bears. Um, um I'm, I'm Chelsea. Uh, nice to meet you. Alright, nice to meet you as well. It's nothing. Alright, what are you? Drawing of some kind of cat. Chelsea's a cat. Letty and Rick. Wow, I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. There's also Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. And you're Alan. I'd be really happy if we could play. Nice to know you. <laughs> okay, and you are a dove. Very nice. And... Oh. My room. Okay. And I am a rabbit. Alright, so I'm a rabbit. Letty and Rick are the dove. Uh, Chelsea's a cat. Rick. Is, not Rick. Uh, Joshua. Joshua is a lion and Stella is a zebra. Alright. I think we just go... Is there anything up here? I don't remember. 
is this? A butterfly specimen. Can't click on any of this. A mass of all kinds of books. <coughs> ah, sitting room. How nice. There's a candle here. Okay. It's locked. Room 101. Okay. Do, 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 do. I think we're supposed to just go back and talk to the teacher now. It's locked. Good to know. It's a big old dining room here. Warm. It's locked. Okay. Strange design. It looks like a map. Is this the... Dining room. Yep, okay. Teacher. Okay. Now look around your room. <laughs> hey, I can sleep in your bed. <laughs> Alright. You've introduced <coughs> you've introduced yourself. How did it go? I see. I'm relieved you could carry on some kind of conversation with them. You're just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. Now, what do you say? Thanks for the mail, teacher! Alright, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. You can go to each other's rooms to talk, but don't go to the second floor. <laughs> Dismissed! <laughs> My nose is stuffy. You haven't been here long, but you seem used to things already. How are your memories doing? I see. Well, no, don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll remember everything. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Uh, well, I can't... That I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry, I'll keep it in mind. Well, I'll buy you some new books. You like to read, don't you, Alan? I'm impressed by how many words you can understand already. Teacher is not so smart. I don't really get difficult things. Oh, it's nothing. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? No, it's just a fairy tale. But you should have invited... Should you be invited to such a world, I'd advise against opening that door. All right, get back to your room. I need to lock up too. Get to bed quick. Okay. What is teacher looking at? Some ki all kinds of contact info is written here. Okay. All right, what do you guys have to say to me now? Absolutely nothing. What about you? You talk to Rick? He's around right now. Then there's Letty and there's this other guy. He's just there all of a sudden. It really freaks you out. This is me off to no end, honestly. What? I hear weird voices, Joshua said. That's scary. I wonder if I can sleep by myself. Mm. Hello. Nice to meet you. No, this is the first time. We look rather similar, but I'm not Letty. My name's Rick, and you're Alan, right? She told me about you. When Letty goes to bed, I watch the room for her. Well, maybe it's not quite that. Oh well, nice to meet you. Done your homework yet? I see. Better get it done early. Well, so I talked to him. Hey, did you know? Some weird voices coming from the second floor at night are like, HELP! Uh, no uh, way. I don't want to check it out for myself. If you're so curious, why don't you go, Alan? Oh, but don't tell a teacher. He'd get mad at me. Hey. Okay. You just gonna... Okay. So I guess I go to the second floor. I guess I go to the second floor. Okay. Help me. The butterfly is moving. Sure, I'll help you. Oh, jeez. Uh, we broke it. Who's there? Alan, I heard a loud crash. What are you doing up here? Didn't I tell you to get ready for bed and not go upstairs? The butterfly said to help. I see. Oh, well, well, that butterfly may look alive. It's long since dead. Something without a soul can't speak, can it? What a mess. Are you hurt? You seem fine. That's good. 
The shards of glass are dangerous. I'll clean them up. So go to your room and sleep. N never mind. Just had a little headache. No need to apologize, really. Just don't do it again. There, 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 there. It's okay. Good night. It, she locked the door behind me. Rude. Let's go back in my room. Can I go out the front door? Nope. Oh, okay. They all lock their doors when they go to bed. Meow. Meow. Hello, cat. It's very dark. Hello? Ah, there we go. Oh, hey, I can save. Oh, yeah, my previous save files. I forgot that I can save already. All right, let's go. Yay! Jesus! What the hey? Now, if this isn't a strange human I've never seen before. What's that? Why, yes, if you see a dreaming Alice, then surely this is a dream. Because here what Alice says and does is everything. That's not your name? Oh, no, no, Alice is Alice. And that's because I say so. That contradicts what I just said. Maybe you're onto something, kid. This place is chock full of weirdos, so I'm just one of them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You don't stop in the middle of a good meal, do you? Save for dreams. Gotta save with the taste. Oh, well, I'm busier than I look. Alright, I'll smell ya. Can we just... One open. Okay, good to know. Hello. Oh, another visitor. That makes six. That doesn't add up. Oh, never mind. Good evening, Alice, and welcome. I'm the White Rabbit, the guide of this world. It's a rather big place, so call me if you need anything. Though I should note, I won't move from this spot. It's just a pain, really. And right now, those depressing matters of the keys to the world doors gone missing. Four of the five are no longer here, but I think I can hazard a guess as to who has them. As previously stated, I don't want to move an inch. So, Alice, I'd like to recover them. How does that sound? I... You have my thanks. Luckily, I do have one of the world keys on hand, so you can go in one. Knowing who we're dealing with, I'm sure he's scattered them all across the world. Once you find one, please bring it back to me. And don't be shy about asking any other questions you may have. But only once, I don't care to repeat myself again and again. That was, uh, this guy is a pain face just now, wasn't it? Oh well, I hope you have your assistance. Uh, one more thing, you might find it pitch black beyond the door ahead. In that case, just keep walking. Explaining everything is becoming a pain, you better get going. But I want to ask questions about the world. <coughs> Generally speaking, a world is a place that embodies a hidden side of an Alice's heart. Because their surface heart is soon to vanish, you see. They may be locked or unlocked, but primarily are locked. People don't like others trampling in their hearts, after all. I've managed the keys, so just ask if you can go in and out. So long as you recover them for me, Alice. Incidentally, the doors can be opened from within without a key, but not from the outside. The world doors can be found in the area behind me. Well, then I hope to have your assistance. Yes, what is it? The White Rabbit. About me? Other than being a guide, I like children, I suppose. Well, then I hope you have your assistance. Trust our cat? He is another guide. You met him earlier, yes? The sight of him makes me sick. A very ill-natured cat he is. I have him to thank for this ear and this off-color skin. Our tastes don't match at all, and frankly, I hate everything about him. Next time we meet, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Well, then I hope to have your assistance. What's this? The writing is too messy to read. Okay. Ah. Yo. You're doing well for yourself. I'm feeling fine. Keys wouldn't know unless so, but that's the truth and nothing but. Sure, I did steal them, but only because somebody else asked me to. Can't tell you who, nope. I may be a liar, but I wouldn't lie to a friend of friend. Sorry, maybe if you told me your mom's main name or the name of your pet, whoops, don't remember her. Besides, I'm just a guide. All I give her hints. So here is your hint. There is one to be found in each world. Eh, why you ask? I'm always as much of a pain as you know who is. The white rabbit, I mean. Uh, just saying his name ruffled my fur. He's messed me up just as bad underneath this here hood. Want to take a look? Maybe a tad grotesque for a little one like you. Alright, time's up. See you later. 
Okay, and good luck. Okay. One must peer into the heart of a man. When the heart is ever questioning. Up to two times can be forgiven, but one who cannot answer the heart's third question will fall into eternal slumber. Okay. Um, this is the door I can go in, right? Yeah. Letty's here. Oh, good morning, Alice. Hey, 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 I'm really bored right now. Let's play, let's play, let's play, play, play. All right, what should we do? Want to open the closet? Sure, but what's this? Ah, uh, this is just the... Okay. Sure, I'll open it. And we're here now. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and just save the game. Yeah. Alright, let's look around. A small knife. There's nothing inside. An empty cup. Book labeled Mother Goose. Okay. <clears throat> queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, she stole, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. The King of Hearts called for the tarts and beat the Knave full sore. The Knave of Hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he's still no more. Okie dokie. It's empty. Uh, nothing's planted in it. Do you guys hear the Nutcracker playing in the background? Some mushrooms over here. Strange mushrooms grow here. Sure. I mean, Alice ate a mushroom and got bigger, right? And that's how we died. Okay. Awesome. Started things off right with the game over. Good thing I saved. I'm actually going to go read this Mother Goose book real quick so I can make sure that it's been read and I'm going to end that episode there so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make I'm not signing out